There's some keys here, too. Well, this is probably the keys to this house itself, huh? Okay, hold up. Close this door. I'm hidden. No, dog man! Dog, stop. Alright. Should I do this? Should I just steal it? Dog! Please, I'm trying to steal! Get the fuck out of here. Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon Place Fallout 4. If you could excuse me, my indiscretion over here, but apparently I just seem to be a, a giant hussy. Cause my, I'm not sure what happened here, but I got out of that seat after this test, and my, my dress is all the way up over here, so I'm not really sure what the hell Swanson did to me whenever he questioned me last night with those questions if I was a synth or not, but my dress is like this and it doesn't go down anymore. Put your dress down, you hussy. Can, can I go down at all? No? Okay, look. Look, I'm gonna put on the insulated jumpsuit here for a while. I want to keep the dress on just in case we have to do some more charisma challenges in here. But yes, we made it to the Covenant last episode. We went to the cemetery and now Covenant. They locked the doors behind me. My dog's still out there. Excuse me, my dog is still out there. Dog man. Dog, come in here with me. Head on in. Hey. I don't trust Any these guys. Is usually the first stop. No, no, no. Hey. Dog man. Come in, hurry up. These guys don't mess around with this door. Okay, there we go. Cool. Hey, stay. Wait there. Stay. Okay, let's go ahead and follow and cancel. All right, we're fine now. So, Covenant it is. Let's uh, get out of this um, third-person mode here. They have a water pump over here. So these guys have a little settlement going on as well, much like we are. Well, well my Minutemen, anyway. Yes, I'm calling them my Minutemen. You know why? Because Preston said I'm the general, so they're mine. Don't necessarily want to pick that on a red right now. I want to find out what these people are all about here first. Can I steal from you straight up? I definitely can. They don't mind if you take um, their actual food. It's kind of weird. So you know what? Why would I not do it? I want all these plants. I know you guys have been, you know, working a hard time over here growing these, investing in these, but now they're mine because I can't steal them without any sort of recourse. All right, corn. Meaning that's stealing. <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It wasn't stealing. Tom would be happy to talk to you, but no, no, no. Oh, you removed them? That's fine. You only took something and not everything else. That's fine. Let's talk to Ted Hundley. <laughs> Are we cool? So he's okay with me taking everything but the wild fruit. Ted. Are we gonna be are you gonna be mad at me now that I stole? Ted, talk to me, dog. Don't do this you to see, me. You see, I gotta run uh, diagnostics on the perimeter turrets. Those right there, huh? And uh, Gladys says the light in the bunk house. Alrighty. Very um, informative. Thank you for all that information there, Ted. So, I can take the corn, though, right? <laughs> I didn't learn my lesson the first time, as you could probably imagine. Okay, well, let's just leave now. I grabbed oh. some items. Let's go. Hey, who are you? Hi. How are you doing, Talia? Talia. Oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. Uh, things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. Alright, uh, what do you make? Slow down, you sound handy. <laughs> she kind of does, actually. Uh, what do you make? What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns. Scopes. And other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Why don't you ever give me your face? What's wrong with your face? You kind of look like something out of, um, Walkers, that Stephen King cat people movie. Or I guess novel as well, if you are more of the reading kind. Everyone's so friendly, hope I like it, hated, like friendliness. Um, yeah, everyone's so friendly, it totally does sound that way, isn't it? Why is everyone here so friendly? I don't know! I ask Mr. Orden. I'm much better with terminals than people. Feel free to use my tools, and if you need anything, just let me know. Oh, I'll use your tools, right, Talia? Yeah, I'll use your tools. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, like, really sketchy stuff now, isn't it? Like, everybody's just, like, very, like... They have a really good setup, though. I'll give them that. They have a nice little wall over here. Dogman, don't open that door. They have turrets over here. I mean, this obviously is a lot more secure than my sanctuary. But that's okay. I'll, I'll get it up and running at some point. And by getting it up and running, I'm talking about... Sanctuary, not my own, getting it up and running. I can use her wrench, as she said, right? So... Don't mind if I, I really do. shouldn't talk to you because I'm busy and all. I think it's because you can't talk to me. You have not been allowed to talk to people. Oh, economy wonder glue. Yes. Okay. Let's, uh, ooh. wait, 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 wait. I saw a screwdriver there. I want that. Can't use the ball peen hammer. Oh, can't. Doesn't want to give me the ball peen hammer. Who does that? 
I think we had to find this Mr. Orden guy. Are you Mr. Orden? Catman? I think Catman's probably the reason why everybody's so happy over here. They have a cat. Why wouldn't they be happy? I want a cat in my sanctuary area. Dogman, please move. Okay. Obviously, everything's gonna be stealing here. Ooh. Let's read this. A reminder! Covenant is a safe place. Whatever bad happened to you in the past won't happen here. But we've all got a job to do. We need word of mouth to spread so we've eventually dozens of people a week come through here. So, some guidelines. Be welcoming, but don't make visitors uncomfortable. Well, too late for that. Any opportunities to encourage visitors to bring their friends, exploit. Never talk about sins, never talk about the Institute. Huh. Can these people be sins? I get the feeling they're probably sins. But then, if they're sins, why did they, why they give me the quote-unquote sin test? I don't know. I don't know. Jacob's password. Oh. There's some keys here, too. Well, this is probably the keys to this house itself, huh? Okay, hold up. Close this door. I'm hidden. No, dog man! Dog, stop. Alright. Should I do this? Should I just steal it? Dog! Please, I'm trying to steal! Get the fuck out of here. We stole the, the password. You know what? I'm gonna take the keys, too, while I'm at it. Nobody saw it, right? Nobody saw it. Alarm clock, that could stay. See, now I can come in here whenever I want to. Just in case it's a... Ooh. Dog. Close the fucking door. Close the door. Close the door. Fine. Okay. Don't look at me that way. No. Okay? I don't feel bad about stealing. Okay. And we can just walk. Let's not open that door because it'll be like, Hey, how do you know? How did you open that door without keys? And I'll be like, Oh, I'm about that. The caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes? Oh man, I'm telling you, something's. Oh, that's Orden. Okay, that's From the guy. That's the guy in charge, probably. God, I hope not. Not enough of these hicks. All right, so Honest Dan knows something's going on too. I am. I. I believe you, Honest Dan. I think something's going on. And you know why I believe you? Because you're Honest Dan. Uh, just traveling through, evasive. Did you? Do you dislike Covenant? It was pretty apparent now, isn't it? You. Uh, you have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Mm, no, nothing. Not a traitor. Caravan. Know all about it. Now, let's ask about it, though. A caravan? What are you talking about? I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people. And we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. So he's like a mercenary, huh? I kind of like Honest Dan already. Um, survivors reject the deal, accept the deal. Caps up front. Well, let's see if my charisma pays off over here. If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. Yeah. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. You got it then. Accept the deal. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Will do. Started human error. Optional search the stored caravans for clues. Optional ask Dan about since. Okay. Uh, he mentioned there was a caravan destroyed out here, correct? Let's go ahead and take a little perusal at that. Maybe we'll get some information on that. Where would this caravan be at? Destroyed, though, is my other... Big concern. Would it be on my map, perhaps? Perhaps a mundo? Let's find out. Uh, data. Human error. Let's get rid of uh, Raider Troubles in Oberlin for now. Human error. Uh, search destroyed caravan for clues. It should be around here, right? I mean. Oh, here we go. We got some markers now. So. Dead Brahmin over here. Okay. The caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, alright. Okay. Oh, don't, <laughs> don't mind if I do a laser pistol. Sweet. Leather chest piece? Yes. Skull bandana. That's pretty fucking awesome, dude. 
Yes, I will take all of this. I'm sorry, my friend. You have now been pillaged for a second time as well. And then again, you're dead, so it's not like you really do need this now, do you? Hey, baby. Uh, Brahmin meat and hide? Yes. I'm already glad that I kind of came over here just for this alone. Good stuff over here. Iguana and a stick vodka. Deezer's, Deezer's lemonade. lemonade. Never heard of it. Huh. So Deezer's lemonade actually triggered this. I've actually heard of Deezer's lemonade before. Like, what the fuck just happened? You guys got that? You guys saw a little weird flash, right? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm freaking out. These guys had some good stuff and a lot of money, oddly enough. Alright, we're fine here? I'm carrying too much! What do you mean I'm carrying too much? Dog, come hey. here. Did I forget to unload before my uh, mission here? Oh, that's unfortunate. We're cool. So we already checked this out. We should probably go back now. But before we do that, let me just take a little perusal over here. Can I open this up? Yes, advanced. <laughs> Not that way. Okay, here we go. That seems to be kind of the right way. Closer? No. So down a bit more. So maybe down here. Boom! How you God. like me now? Oh my goodness, God. So you guys were... You know, moving people somewhere? Were, the, were you moving people, like, legally or illegally? Could die in here after you got attacked? I'm not sure. Straw pillow. Any clues in here? Clean blue suit. Well, we have another one. A bowler hat? Okay. Well... This wasn't really too great, but we got a bowler cap, if anything. Is it a better hat than the one I have on? I wonder. It's an it's endurance one. Hold up. Oh. Eh. I mean, I, it, it, I'm not really too crazy about my militia one, but at least it's charisma, which is uh, always good for my challenges over here. Well, alrighty. Let us return. I'm back, Swanson. You weirdo. So we um let's inquire about the caravan now from I hate this Honest place. Dan. Oh you knew I gotta break stuff down, but I'll do it off camera more than likely. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Uh let's see. Proof covenants involved, any leads? What's a synth? People here are real sensitive about synths. What is a synth? You must be new around here. Synths are synthetic people made by the Institute. Real advanced machines. Might as well be human because no one can tell the difference between them and us. Everyone in the Commonwealth is afraid of synths and the Institute. But come to mention it, I've been here a long while and nobody's even breathed a word about them. That is odd. They're synths, goddammit! Told ya! Um, any leads? Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. I'll cross that road if I have to. Uh, what's the Institute? So, what's the Institute? Ask three different people, you get three different answers to that. Wildly different. Most people believe the Institute's behind every manner of ill in the Commonwealth. Sister disappears, or you lose your Brahmin. The Institute. Settlement murdered in the middle of the night. The Institute. But I've never met a single person that has proof about any of that. But there's no denying synths are real enough. So the Institute's infiltrating us, and I doubt they're doing that for our own good. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? I got one thing. They deny up and down that Stockton's men ever came here. But they most certainly did. There's no reason to bald face lie to me if they're not hiding something. I'll keep poking around. Do you have any proof Covenant... No. I still have no proof. We'll talk later. Alright. So, we have uh, now done all the side objective stuff over here that we need to. So we have a password, we have some keys to the house over here. Dog made us also found something. Dog, whatever you found is... Up there? What? What is it, puppy? The turret? Yeah, the turret's fine. It's not gonna do anything to you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not gonna attack you. Unless we don't steal. Well, I guess I could take the paint can and a paintbrush, sure. Turpentine, yes. Okay, what what is it, puppers? Just having, <laughs> just staring straight ahead. Is it the turret or what is it? Look, pups, I'm a little bit unfortunately. I can't do much over here right now because this is not my area. Everything is just about stealing here. All right, you just hang out there, whatever, man. Uh, I guess we could talk to Jacob finally, Mister Orden, as he likes to be called. Mailbox is empty. We have. Public terminal. It's a public terminal, so that might give us some information. And I could take everything here, but not the other place. 
Interesting. Bubble gum. Adjustable wrench. Laundered green rust. I already have one, but I would like a different color, perhaps. You know, just to kind of have a different mood on occasion. You know, I just want to walk around with a green suit the or green dress the entire time. Gold watch. I will take that. <laughs> Not because I'm stealing. Well, actually, I kind of am. Join the railroad. What's that all about? Uh, public terminal. Let's check this out, too. Welcome! Fine. Go, go into the welcome. Can't use the keyboard for you for some reason. I have to click on you now. Excuse me. Odd. Uh, from a brief rest to a long stay, we have everything you are looking for in Covenant. Located in its central commonwealth, we have easy access to the best and safest trade routes in the area. Yeah, so much for that, huh? Our guest uh, dormitories are spacious, well, well appointed, and our friendly Mr. Handy even offers free lemonade. For a large caravan, extra sleeping bags can be provided on request. Just talk with Mr. Fitzgerald. We hope you enjoy your stay here as much as we enjoy having you. Alright. Covenant History. We're a young community formed by like-minded individuals dedicated to restoring a quality of life that's been gone for too many years. Our secret ingredients are a shared vision, hard work, and old-fashioned hospitality. Since the walls have come up, we've hosted more and more traders. Our store offers a wide variety of trade goods at rock-bottom prices. If you find it cheaper elsewhere, let us know and we'll beat it. Tell your friends. We often get asked about the safe test. What is it? Why is it necessary? Your safety and ours is a number one concern here. And the safe test is how we maintain it. The test was designed by some of the old world's greatest minds to get detailed psycho psychological profile of its partic participants. Uh, people fail the test for all sorts of reasons. Antisocial tendencies, vulgarity, and mental health, to name a few. Often, they'd just be fine if we let them in, but we're extra cautious to ensure that only good quality folk like yourself Get to enjoy the comforts of Covenant. Remember, it's all about your safe tea. Alright. There's a dude here. Well, hello. Oh, it's a guy. That's probably the guy we should probably talk to. Why are you so small? Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, this guy's a manlet. Hey, Jacob. Hi. Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Alright, let's find out. Let's grill this guy here a little bit, huh? Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Honest, Dan. Can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Alright. Problem with sense, Dan says you're lying. Goodbye, missing caravan. Let's ask about the caravan first. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Mm-hmm. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here. Rest assured. Because you are one. You're lying. Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we've got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. Mm-hmm. I have to go. You have a good day. Jacob. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Alrighty. Let's ask about him, then. Tell me about yourself. I make sure Penny, Thalia, and everyone's got what they need. It's a full-time job to keep our little community afloat. But someone's got to do it, if you'll excuse me. Alrighty. Is it just me, or does he uh, kind of sounds a little bit like the uh, most interesting man in the world? You know, he doesn't drink too often, but when he does, it's Dos Equis. That's That's him right here. That's you. You're the Dos Equis guy. You just put on a little bit of weight, apparently. Alrighty, let's find out what's happening out back here. Nothing? Alrighty. Well, we talked to this guy, we didn't really get too much information. I think the, uh, tricky part's gonna be with this guy. Yeah, yeah, you're the guy. You're the guy who I need to talk to, I think. Let's turn this off over here. But before we do that... Enjoy your stay! Penny. So I can do some trading with you. I could also steal from you, apparently. Don't necessarily want to do that just yet. Oh, we have doctors here, too. That's as cool. soon as you don't need the meds, you gotta lay off. Understood? Any other complications with the injury? It's healing up pretty <gasps> good. I could just take off this? Off you go then. Thanks, Doc. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. <laughs> yeah, I can steal stuff. Some of them. 
Bone cutter, I'll take that too. Bone cutter! Well, she mentioned rumors. Enjoy your stay. Penny it is. Penny. Talk. <clears throat> I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. Are you coming on to me, Penny? Because if so, I am single now, essentially. Uh, what do you do? Hello, too cheerful. Nice to meet you. Mm, nice to meet you, I guess. Nice to meet a friendly face. You're in luck, then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Mm-hmm. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> Tell you, man. Penny's just a bit too friendly towards me. Are we wearing the same dress, by the way? Uh, problems with sense? Everything's clean. Goodbye, missing caravan. Let's ask you about the caravan first. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely. He has such an attitude. I know! He's so smug. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Butter her up. Oh, okay. Right? He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps mm. around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm... You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Oh! I think we done it. Find the location of the secret compound. Alrighty. I think we're on to something here. Just butter her up a little bit and there you Penny, go. you here to shop? If not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. Mm hmm. Do you have time for a few questions? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Compound. Could you tell me anything about the compound? Compound? Who said anything about a compound? <laughs> you know what? I, I really am very busy. Mm hmm. Okay. Now we gotta find out about this compound. Maybe Dan knows about a compound? I don't think anybody else will probably spill the beans on this. There's also Deezer over here who I probably need to talk to about this lemonade bullshit. Hey, Deezer. Less rads? Less mute fruit? Same great taste. Try Deezer's lemonade. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Coming an investigation. I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Deezer's lemonade. Voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight. <laughs> What's in the lemonade? What's in the lemonade? Deezer's lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy, or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. Mm-hmm. I'll take it, but I won't have it, maybe? I'll take some. Enjoy! Alrighty. Not gonna have it, though, but at least it's in my inventory here now. Bust it again? It's the third radio this month. Ted better get on this. Hey there. Another newcomer. Welcome. Are you uh, related to Penny? We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just fine. All right. Well this then. This cell means business. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's talk to Dan about this compound, huh? Danny boy? Honest Dan? Fuck the honest Dan. <laughs> honest Dan, there he is. Having the smoke over here. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this compound is, it'd be Jacob. He runs this town. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. Oh, I do have that password. Okay. We'll talk later. I do have this password. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. We'll come back next time around and probably head to the compound, wherever that might be. I'll try to figure this out off camera, and then we will head over there next time around. Hopefully, you enjoyed the thumbs up. I will catch you next time.